In the last lecture, we learned about custom configuration files and we also created a custom configuration file called app config. Now it turns out that we can divide a custom configuration file into multiple custom configuration files. And we can do that with the help of namespaces. So as we learned in an SGS application, custom configuration files allows us to organize our application settings beyond simple environment variables. And namespaces further refine this organization by grouping related settings under distinct keys, preventing naming conflicts and enhancing modularity. Let's understand this with a practical example. So what I'm going to do is inside this config folder, I'm going to create one more custom configuration file and I'm going to call it as database.config.ts. Okay. Now, just like how we have created a app config function inside this app config.ts file. We can also do that in this database config.ts file. But instead of doing it like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a built in function provided by nestjs slash config package. So first of all, I'm going to import that function and the name of the function is register as. Okay, and we need to import this function from nestjs slash config. Now this register as it is a function. So what we are going to do is we are going to export a default function and we are going to call that function as register as same as this function. So basically here we are calling this function and we use this function in order to register a configuration object under a specific namespace. So the first parameter which we need to pass to this register as function is the namespace. Here I am going to call the namespace as database. And the second function which we need to pass here is a function which should return a configuration object. So here I want to return an object. So I'm going to use parenthesis and from there I'm going to return an object. And inside this object, let's go to app config.ts and let's copy these properties and let's specify that inside this object okay let's format this document so basically now what we are doing is we are creating another custom configuration file this custom configuration file is going to return an object and that object will be present in the database namespace and in that object we have these properties so now if I save the changes and if I go to the terminal before that, let's go back to appconfig.ts file and let's remove this database object from here. Okay, let's save the changes. And now since this appconfig.ts does not have those properties anymore, if I go to the terminal, you will see that we have an error. So basically here, now we are not able to connect to the database. And that's because now we have moved the settings to this database config.ts file. So in order to use these properties, now we need to import this file in our app module file. So let's open app module.ts file. Let me close this .env.development and .env.test file. Let's also close this .env file. So now here, we are also going to register the database config. Okay, and in order to use this database config, we also need to import it from database.config file. Now here I'm calling it as database.config because here we are doing a default export. So whatever we are returning from here, we can assign it to a variable. We are calling that variable as database config, but you can name this variable anything. And we have registered it here. And in this object, Basically here, we are going to get an object in this database config. We are going to receive this object and this object is registered under this database namespace. So whenever we are going to use any of the property of this object, we need to call it on database namespace. And that's what we are doing here. And with this, if we save the changes and if we go to the terminal, now we should not have any error. So now you see, we do not have any error because now the configurations are being read 
from this database config object and this database config object is basically storing this object which we are returning and in order to use these properties we have to call it on this database namespace okay then let's go back to app config.ts file and here also we are going to do the same thing so i'm going to rewrite the logic inside this file so again i am going to import the register as function from nestjs slash config and now i am going to export default and we are going to call this register as function and the first argument will be the namespace let's say the namespace is app config and then the second argument is the callback function which should return an object so here i am returning an object and in that object i am going to have one property which is this environment so let me cut it from here and let me specify it here and let's remove this code okay let's save the changes here and now let's go to app module.ts now here we will have an error because now this app config it is a default export so here we are exporting it as default so now we don't need to wrap it within curly braces we can just assign the object which app config file is returning to a variable in this case to this app config and here we are also loading that app config so to this load we are assigning an array and inside this array we can specify multiple custom configuration files okay here you can see we are loading two configuration files using this array in the same way if you have any more configuration file you can add it inside this load array and we don't need to do any more changes so in this way what we have done is we have specified a namespace for our custom configuration files for this app config custom configuration file we have specified the namespace as app config and for this database config file we have specified the namespace as database now the advantage here is since the namespaces are different in this config file you can go ahead and you can create a property with the same name which you have in the database config so for example here also i can create a property called name and assign it with some value so for example let's say test now since the namespaces are different it will not create any conflict because when we will want to use this name property we will have to access it on this namespace on app config namespace and when we would want to use this name property we will access it on the database namespace and in this way it will avoid any naming conflicts and it also allows us to segregate our configuration settings into multiple files all right let's quickly check if we do not have any error so you see we do not have any error and let's also test the functionality by simply making a get request to this api endpoint and here we are getting the response that means our application is connected to the database and from the database it has fetched the record and it has sent us that data in the response so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day